Hey guys, Jonathan here at Shadow Foam, and this week we're looking at the Dewalt Tough System trays. Now these trays are quite a new addition to the Dewalt range and we love them. They're absolutely fantastic. They make the Tough System big old bucket cases a little bit easier to split up and use for a variety of things. So we've got inserts here in all six colors in 30 mil and 50 mil that slot straight into these trays. And in this video, we're gonna be showing you some of the best uses we've come up with for these, and we're gonna be cutting all the different colors and showing you some cool layouts for these trays. So let's get into it. I think we should start with some hand tools, some of your typical things, which is spanners and chisels. So I reckon we'll get into the blue, which is one of my favorite color inserts. It really pops with the yellow. So we'll do this one and we'll organize some spanners first. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland. Right, so actually, change of plan, we'll go for classic Shadow Foam Red, actually. I think that's a better place to start. And I've got a full set of spanners here. These are Brittool Expert spanners. And we're starting at 24 mil, quite a common size you're gonna use. And we're just gonna lay them out, kind of top to tail. Now, obviously, we could stand these on the side and we'd get more spanners in. But, you know, I like seeing the chrome. And, you know, we're also using this as like a demo. And yeah, if you do them top to tail, typically you can save a few mil and you can get more spanners in. So hopefully, doing it this way, we can get the whole set in. And that's all the way from a 24 mil down to a 5 mil. These Brittle Expert spanners, they come in like predefined sets and then you can add the different sizes on. So over the years I've added, being an electrician, the smaller sizes like 5 mil, 6 mil, 7 mil, they are quite good to have for little terminal nuts and stuff. So I've got all of those, we've got down right down to five mil. Now we've sorted out the layout, which is typically can be the trickiest part, figuring out the exact layout you want. The cutting's actually quite easy. The shadow foam makes it easy because all you have to do is cut around the item and then peel back the foam layers. Now all you're gonna need is obviously the inserts, which are available on our website, shadowfoam.com, in twin packs, and available in all six colors, and then 30 mil and 50 mil depth. And then you need one of our cutting kits. And that's got the anti-cut gloves, it's got the scalpel handle, five blades, a sticker and some instructions. So that's everything you need to get cut in and get organized in these trays. So yeah, I'll get my gloves on and then we'll get cut in this one. Right, so that is all finished, and these chrome uh, spanners really do kind of gleam in the light when they're all kind of set up in shadow foam like that. And then this insert just slots nice and smooth into this tray. These inserts are designed to fit perfectly inside these trays, so I'm really happy with that, that's looking great. Right, onto the blue, we're gonna cut blue next, and we're gonna be organizing a Stanley chisel set, and we'll put a claw hammer in there as well. Okay, let's get that started. Right, so that one's all finished as well, and I think that's that's a really nice balance of space. That's a full chisel set and a hammer, so let's stick that in the tray. And this is the deeper variation of tray, so we've actually done this in a 30 mil liner, which gives us a nice extra bit of space. We could put a second layer in there, so maybe if you wanted two trays of tools, or maybe you wanted to hide something, keep something a bit tucked away, you could have two trays in that one. And then that's the red spanner drawer we did, and I think both of those together look smashing. The red really pops with the yellow and so does the blue. And I think red and blue probably aren't the first or the most obvious choice when it comes to the colors. Yellow is probably gonna be the most popular. But that being said, we will do the yellow next. So we've got inserts, we're gonna do a 50 and a 30 mil sandwich together for the deep tray. And we're gonna do a 50 mil liner in the shallow tray. But yeah, let's figure out what we're gonna put in these inserts. Right, let's cut them in. So that's that one done, and I'm really happy with how that one's turned out as well. I think these trays are fantastic. They're a great addition to these toolboxes. The problem with these tough systems is they're just a big cavity. They're like a big bucket. So if you don't have a tray, you don't have foam in them, you end up just piling all the tools in there loose. And they kind of like look like what they look like on this table. Just a big old pile of tools. It's hard to find what you need. They're all clunking and banging into each other. So the trays are great, and obviously the tray inserts and the foam inserts are fantastic. But we'll move on to the next liner now. And with this one, we're gonna be organizing the deep tray and we're gonna be adding a 30 mil base layer. And that is because we're gonna be putting batteries in foam. And for these, as they're so deep, we're gonna be cutting all the way through. So we're not cutting and peeling back layers of foam with this insert. We're gonna be cutting all the way through this, 
and then we're going to be gluing it to the base layer and that'll give us an 80 mil liner which can sit inside this deep tray. So what do we do? The exact same as before, we make sure we've got our anti-cut glove on and we put the layout together. The same process of cutting around the item lightly, scoring around it, but then we just cut all the way through the foam. And what we don't want to do, the big thing here is, is when you cut the pieces of material out, keep them in order. Don't throw them away. You're going to need them to glue the two pieces together. So let's get a layout sorted and then let's start cutting. Right, so we've cut all the way through the four batteries, because obviously they're really deep, and we've cut the charger in. We've also cut a recess for the wire underneath the charger. We basically just put a bit of space there for the, the wire to sit, and then a separate space for the plug, because obviously we want to make sure those three prongs aren't digging into anything. So now we want to glue this to the 30 mil layer, so we end up with a really nice looking liner. So to do that, all we do is we get some of our spray glue. This is available on our website and we put the little inserts that we've cut out back in. So I hope you saved them. We stick them back in and they work like masking tape. Rather than having to mask off anything, we can just stick those back in and that way we don't get any overspray in the inserts. And then all we have to do is just add the spray. Now you might want to do this over a bit of newspaper. I do this quite often, so I'm just going to do it freehand. I want to spray a bit on that and then we want to let it go tacky and then we're going to spray a little bit on the other side. Now on the other side, we've got to be a bit careful because we don't glue on the bottom of where these batteries are. So I'm only going to put a little bit around the edge and then right in the middle where the charger is. So we're going to put a little bit of spray in the middle and I'm going to put a little bit around the sides. It's the sides that we want to stick really. They're the bits that there's a bit of risk. So we're going to let that go tacky as well. Actually, while that's going tacky, we can push these pieces out because we know that's done now. And we now know we've definitely not got any overspray into those recesses that we've put for the batteries. And now we can let those go tacky for a second and then we'll bond the two together. A few minutes later. Right, so they've gone a bit tacky now, both sides. So we can push these two together. So you can see already, as soon as you touch the two together, they just start grabbing, which is exactly what you want. And that's it. Flip it over, push it a bit on the back. It doesn't really need too much, to be honest. And then that is a finished 80 mil liner and that fits nicely in the tray and it just sits about 20 mil below the surface so it's nice and flush so that one's really good and then i mean the laser it costs a lot of money you want to protect it so having it in a foam liner is the perfect place for it and it fits a 50 mil liner fits in there perfectly so i think that is a really good example of a solid use organizing and protecting your batteries and then some of the smaller power tools that are a bit more delicate so when it comes to having layers of foam and multiple layers of tools in this deep tray there are a lot of different options because the tray is about 110 millimeters you can have two layers of 50 mil you can have three layers of 30 mil and you can really pack a lot in here and also as the shadow foam inserts are quite sturdy you can see we've got a laser which has a bit of weight to it and there's no bow or movement in this. And even with the 30 mil foam, which is a bit thinner, they're pretty sturdy, you know? So you, can, you don't even need a backer board on these and they'll function as trays. So with that being said, you could fit an awful lot of tools and equipment in these, or you could do what we've done here, which is a pretty nondescript, quite unassuming tray of tools, but you can use it to hold your biscuit collection. Maybe make sure that uh, when brew time comes, no one's pilfered all your biscuits. So that's a pretty good one. Or when five o'clock comes, maybe biscuits aren't quite gonna cut it, especially on a Friday. So maybe this one would be a little bit more uh, suitable. So whatever your tipple, I think you can see that with shadow foam inserts, these trays can be super, super useful. You can do a lot with them. So whatever color you go for, whether it's the red, the blue, the green, the yellow, or the orange, we've also got black available. Hopefully this has shown you the wide array of uses for shadow foam and how much more useful these trays become once you start putting these foam inserts in them. And even if this isn't quite your beer of choice, I know that Cause Light's not for everyone and I'm pretty sure we've made some shocking choices on these biscuits too. But let us know in the comments which ones have particularly offended you. I'm sure you will. I look forward to reading all the comments about this. We really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. Check out some of our other videos, maybe this French cleat tool wall if you've not seen this, or our Makita power tool wall, or we even organised the full tough system from top to bottom, the drawers, the boxes, everything, the Dewalt tough system. So go check those videos out and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, why not check out some of our others? We've got new videos coming out every week. 
And Colin Furs, what's the quickest way for people to see these videos? That's Subscribe. It.